Module 3, PowerPoint, Inserting Objects into a Presentation. You will have your reading instructions, your start file, and there's four support files that you need to open and save in a location where you can retrieve them later. So go ahead and open your start file, and if you want to save it right away, it'll be il underscore ppt underscore three underscore jcl underscore your first and last name. So here's a presentation that's already been started. There are five slides, and the first thing we're going to do is select slide four, and we're going to insert a text box, and you're just you're going to draw it about um, three inches wide and we'll adjust it later. So go ahead and fill it in. Select in all areas and then hold and drag after the H in growth and then click away and you'll see that it's red. Right click and choose growth in so it has a space bar. Then we're, you'll choose um, when you click the edge of the, the, te the text box it selects the entire text box and then we'll choose shape format And from the shape list, they click the down arrow, and we're looking for gold accent four. And I did it again. It's in the shape fill, gold accent four. And then go to shape outline and choose the weight of the outline, four and a half. And then you'll use the four arrows to drag and move it to the edge and you're watching for those um, the red markers and those are your smart guides and let go. Then click outside so the text box is no longer selected. Click slide one. Right click in any blank area and choose format background and then we'll go to insert from file and where you've saved your pictures you're selecting the group picture and insert and then we'll change the transparency over on the right hand side in the format background to 50 percent. Then we'll click slide 2 to go to slide 2 thumbnail and then we're going to select the picture and we're going to crop it so we don't want it as wide as it is. So choose picture format, choose crop, and it changed to markers. You're going to take the middle left marker, hold and drag to just the edge of the book uh, shelf. And then we'll choose the color button and select from the color tone, color tone, temperature 4700K select that and then in the corrections button we're choosing soften 25 percent and in the picture styles group we're looking for metal rounded that's it metal rounded rectangle and then you're just going to um, click the picture so that you have the four arrows and then just slightly move it to the little to the middle of the um, the chart, the slide. Okay. Click slide four. So slide four is the active uh, slide and then press enter and it give you a, a completely new slide for five. Click or the placeholder click to add and we'll actually type a title here and it types it in all caps. And then we'll choose the, the um, chart icon. And the one we want is a clustered column. So go ahead and click OK. And then we'll hover over and click in C4. And that makes that the active cell. And then we'll close out of the data Excel spreadsheet. And then we'll choose under Quick Layouts. And as you're hovering over, they change. Layout 9. And then we'll drag it up to the center. There's your red markers. And then click in the um, blank area of the slide. 
click the chart so that it's selected and choose um, chart tools design tab at the top choose edit data and the worksheet opens up and we're going to fill in the cells starting with series one so I'll fill all those in click in cell E5 and then close the data worksheet click the title chart title on the home tab increase the font size just one click and then actually start typing the title global changes and then click outside of the um, title and then we'll choose um, looks like a paintbrush chart styles and we want chart style 5 and then go to chart design choose change colors and you want palette colorful palette 2 and then click anywhere in the chart the slide click slide 2 so slide 2 is the active slide then we're going to borrow slides from the other PowerPoint presentation so click reuse slides and then choose browse and you should have your uh, where you've placed your files and open that presentation choose choose content and here are the slides from a different presentation and we are going to select slide one we want to insert that one so select insert slide and then it's copying the slide in the other slides design so click the paste options and choose use destination theme so it matches this one Now we'll scroll down in the reuse and select insert on slide three. And again, we'll choose the paste options and choose use destination theme. Now we'll scroll up and use slide two and that becomes slide five, but we are not going to um, change the destination because in the end, we're just going to delete that slide since we changed our mind. So right click on slide five and choose delete slide. And then we can close out of the reuse slides and we'll go to slide sorter. And we'll drag slide four to slide two. To the right of slide two. There we go. So it actually is three. Good. And then um, we'll go back to normal. Scroll down and select select slide eight, and in slide eight, choose the insert table, and we want two columns and four, whoops, four rows, and OK, and then click at the top table layout, and we're going to choose insert below. We want another row, and then click in the first cell and choose insert left. So now we have three columns and then we'll fill this in So with the cells selected, click anywhere in the first row where your column titles are, choose select, and then select row, and then click center in the alignment group so it centers the column headings, and then click select table, and then select the design tab, and then choose more in the table styles, and we're going to go scroll down to dark and we're choosing 
dark style 2 accent 5 slash 6 and then in the effects button choose cell bevel and we want divot and then click outside of the table and we're going to scroll up to slide 3 choose insert word art and we're looking for gold accent 4 that's it right there fill gold accent 4 soft bevel and we're going to move this to the bottom of the screen with the four arrows and then we'll choose more styles and we're changing our mind we're going with tan fill tan accent 3 sharp bevel and then we're going to decrease the font size so select the text triple click will select the text and we're going to go to font size 40 and then we'll type and then we'll choose um, triple click to select the entire um, word art and then go to shape format and we're going to go to text fill and we want ta tan accent 3 25 percent and then in the outline button we want white text 1 and then in the text effects button we want 3d rotation and relaxed I think it was this one relaxed I'm not going to find it now. There it is. Perspective relaxed moderately. Go back into text effects, transform, and they want triangle down. And then you're going to shift and drag the lower right size handle. So that's the lower right. Shift, hold, and about a half inch. Maybe I went too far. And then we'll center it. Now we'll click slide 6 and we'll choose the animation tab and we'll choose, we'll actually select the smart art object because right now you can see that you can't activate any animation if you have nothing selected. So select the smart art and now we can choose the um, animation and we're going to select the down arrow. For more and we want shape in the entrance shape and then under the effects option choose all at once and then for the effects options choose out and then we'll click the slideshow button down on the bottom which is the status bar and then you get a little preview of it just click your mouse and it shows you what it looks like and then escape and then we'll go back to uh, effect options now we'll click slide 4 and then just click so that the bulleted list is selected and then we'll click the animation group fade and then in the effects option choose all at once in the duration time change it to 150 and then preview it and then we'll click economy in the title and in the animation group we're going to scroll down and choose arcs
and over in the timing area, 